Hey guys, I'm off the grid for August, but here's a noted right-wing lunatic saying something that actually completely makes sense. Let's go to Dan Bongino, the host of Unfiltered on Saturday Night Stand. Your quick emotional reaction. I think everyone's a little emotional here uh, about this raid. Yeah, I mean, you think? This is some third world bullshit right here. Let me say it again. Third world bullshit. I mean, every word of that. I don't care that it's cable news. I was a federal agent. I raised my right hand. And I swore to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. And I love this country. This is a freaking disgrace. A disgrace. We don't live in Cuba. We don't live under Kim Jong-un. We live in a constitutional republic, a representative democracy. You have a bunch of FBI agents raiding the home of a former president because they don't like his politics? Are you kidding me? You've spent this whole show, Jesse, and I've spent my entire time either on Fox or on my podcast exposing the left for claiming Russia interfered in election as Hillary Clinton paid off a bunch of foreign agents, her team literally to fabricate a story that occupied the nation for four years. What's she doing right now? Getting a manicure in freaking Chappaqua. She's not doing squat. Nothing. Hunter Biden is having sex on tape while doing crack, while doing crack. And what is he doing? He's living in a Malibu mansion. And yet the president, the former president, who whether you agree with him or not on his claims about the election, whether you agree or not, we still live in a country where you are allowed to challenge an election. There's even a process, the ECA, the Electoral Count Act. You may not like it. But it's a process. How do I know it's a process? Because some people are trying to reform it. You may not like it, but now you send the FBI. Let me tell you something. I have been I have paid due deference to the FBI for a long time. And a lot of listeners didn't like it because I work with some very good people over there who have since retired. The management of the FBI has now shredded any single shred sliver of credibility this agency had left. Nobody will take them seriously from this point on. It is over. You've heard the examples. Stone, Manafort, Cohen, over and over. Are they good guys? Are they bad guys? I don't know. I don't care. I don't know them. All I'm telling you is you cannot tell me we still live in a constitutional republic and not the freaking third world when you have Hillary Clinton paying foreign agents to interfere with an election. People lying under oath repeatedly, Hunter Biden doing crack on tape. And what happens? Where are the federal agents? They're not in Malibu. They're not in Chappaqua. They're in Mar-a-Lago. This is some third world garbage that happened tonight. And I'm telling you, the FBI management, here's a solution. Last thing. We have now got to win in 2022. You have no choice now, folks. Oh, we don't like the swampy Republicans. I don't like them either. Republicans may not be the solution to your problems, but Democrats are certainly the cause of all your problems right now. If there was ever a clarion call to remove your ass from the seat and go vote in 2022, this is it. 